Hi everyone, myself Navya Tharavi, working as assistant professor in the Department of Cyber Security and Data Science in MLR Institute of Technology. Today, I am going to discuss about the topic B plus tree file organization and clustered file organization. And my overview of presentation includes about B plus tree file organization, that is what is B plus tree file organization and what is clustered file organization and the types of clustered file organization. So, let us discuss about B plus tree organization first. So, as the name suggests, so B plus tree, it uses tree like structure to store the records in a file. So, here we use a tree like structure to store the records. So, it uses the concept of what key indexing, it uses the concept of key indexing based upon the key value we use to compare and we use to uh, store the particular record in a particular node. So, where the primary key is used to sort the records, the primary key is used to sort the records. That means, if at all we used to keep the records in a particular sorted manner, so we can able to fetch them in a very easy and efficient way, right. So, for each primary key, an index value is generated and mapped with the record. So, whatever the primary key that we have uh, suggested, so for that each primary key, an index value is generated and that is mapped with that particular record. An index of a record is the address of the record in the record file, right? So, this is what about the basic introduction of B plus tree file organization. That means here the files and the records are stored in a tree like structure. So, B plus tree is very much similar to BST, binary such tree, with the only difference that instead of only two children, it can have more than two. That is the basic difference of B plus tree and BST, binary such tree. All the information is stored in the leaf nodes and the intermediate nodes that acts as a what pointers to the actual data. That means, whatever the data that we are going to store, that data will be available in the leaf nodes that is last level. Okay. And what about the intermediate nodes? That means, before leaf nodes, how many levels are there? So, those level will act as pointers to the actual data, to the leaf nodes. Okay, so the information in the leaf nodes always remains sorted sequential list, linked list. That means here whatever the information, whatever the data that is available in the last level that is leaf nodes, so those are always remains in a sorted manner. That too, they are linked with the, just like by using linked list. So, this is what the representation, so, this is what the initial node, that is, that is what we call as primary node or the root. So, which contains two, two data elements that is 8 and 11, okay. So, we always prefer whatever the elements that are less than the root node, those will be represented in the left part of the subtree, right. And whatever the elements that are greater than, those will be uh, represented, those will be kept in the right hand part of the tree representation. So, see here. So, these are the elements. Let us take one simple example. Just I am explaining here. So, this is what the node, primary node, root node and whatever the elements that are, see 5, 5 is less than 8. That is why here we used to keep in the left part, left subtree, right. Next, let us take 11. 11 is greater than or equal to. So, the nodes that must be placed in the left subtree, which are less than the root node, and the nodes or else the elements which are greater or equal to than the root node which will be placed in the right hand, right hand side or right part subtree, okay. That is what here the logic that we used to place the records. So, 5 is less than 8 we have placed here, okay. Next, 11 we have placed it is greater than or equal to, okay. Next, 18. Let us take 18. 18 is greater than 11. So, we have placed here. Okay. Next, what is 3? 3 is less than 5. We have placed to the left part of 5. See here, left part of 5. And next, 5. 5 is greater than or equal to. That is why here we have to place in the right, right part of the node, this particular intermediate node. This is what we called as the first one root node. These are what? Intermediate nodes. Right, intermediate nodes and these are what leaf level nodes. So, the actual data, whatever the data that we are going to keep, that will present in the leaf nodes. These nodes, intermediate nodes acts as a pointer to these 
leaf nodes that is what the idea behind b plus tree so in this manner we used to uh, keep the data in a sorted manner so the intermediate nodes here that means 5 these are the intermediate nodes right just consists the address of leaf nodes they do not contain any actual record so these nodes doesn't contain any actual record leaf nodes consist the actual records whatever the data is there that will be in the leaf nodes all leaf nodes are balanced all the leaf nodes are balanced and they are connected with each other using single link list so next next file organization that is clustered file organization so what is what is the meaning of cluster that means grouping the same kind of elements right grouping the same kind of elements into one group that is what we called as cluster in a simplest manner okay so in cluster file organization two or more related tables or records are sorted within the same file known as clusters okay two or more related which belongs to the same type will be grouped into one one form that is what we called as cluster these files will have two or more tables in the same data block and the key attributes which are used to map these table together are sorted only once are stored only once sorry so here these files have two or more tables in the same data block that means if at all we have employee record and some department employee table or department table we have two tables and we need to keep them we need to join them into a single table okay what we have to do that means we are making these two into a cluster and we have to join these two join means here so in the context of dbms join means we have to do cartesian product right that means we have to consider at least one common column between these two tables and we can make it as a single table by using one of the keys that key is called as cluster key that will be discussed here see for example we have two tables or relations so employee is one relation department is another relation let us suppose okay so these tables are related to each other why because how i can say that these two are related with each other how i can say by seeing see here the employee table consists of employee id employee name employee address department id these are the four attributes that are there in the employee table and in department table what are the attributes are there department id and department name okay so how we can able to relate these two because of this column department id which is there in both the tables so that i can able to relate these two right so i can combine i can join these two tables into one one relation or one table that we we used to call this one as cluster we are grouping the same kind of elements into a single block that is what we call as cluster how how we can able to cluster by by considering this column by considering this column this column is called as what we what we call clustered key this one will act as a key attribute cluster key okay based upon this column we can able to combine how how means first of all we have to do the cartesian product that means every row of employee table must be mapped with every other row see here this row must be mapped with the first one so here this row must be mapped with first row is mapped with the first row of department table the second the first row of employee table must be mapped with department the first row will be mapped with the third row the first row of employee table see first row must be mapped with every other row in the department table and the second row must be mapped with every other row in the department table third row must be mapped with every other row in the department table so here we used to join these two by doing the cartesian product so after performing the cartesian product what we will get so this is the resultant one therefore these tables are allowed to combine using join operation and can be seen in a cluster file so here we have different types of joins so what are those inner join outer join right inner join and outer join so we have different types of inner join natural join and equi join okay what are the different types of outer join left outer join right outer join full outer join right so these are which we have already discussed in our previous sessions by using any kind of join operation we can able to join those two tables that means we are creating 
them into a single block two tables into a single block based upon one key attribute that key attribute is called as here cluster key that is what here department id so in this way we used to join different tables and we can make them into a single cluster see here this is what department plus employee that means by using this one cluster key we can able to join the above two tables so here we have discussed about the clustering concept that means joining if we want to insert update or delete any record we can directly do so whatever the data that we want to insert or update or delete we can directly do that one data is stored based upon primary key or the key with which searching is done so data is sorted that means here whatever the data has been we have to sort that will be done by using a primary key attribute so here cluster key is the key with which joining of the table is performed by using this key cluster key we have joined the tables next here we have different types of clusters what are those indexed cluster and hash clusters these are the two types of clusters so if at all we used to represent a cluster key then that a clustered is nothing but indexed cluster if at all we use hash function key concept to to generate a key then we that clusters are called as hash clusters let us discuss these two in detail so what is indexed cluster in indexed clustering the records are grouped based on the cluster key and stored together okay so the above mentioned example of employee department relationship which we have mentioned so that comes under what indexed cluster why because we have joined employee table department table based upon the cluster key that is nothing but indexed cluster what is hash clusters here this is very much similar to indexed clustering only with only the difference is instead of storing the records based on cluster key instead of using cluster key we generate hash key value so by using hash function that is it is one of the mathematical functions that is for example k mod just simple mathematical function that is division method k modulo m which we have discussed in our previous sessions also okay uh, so hash based indexing like that so by using instead of using cluster key here we use hash key value and store the records with the same hash key value that comes under hash clusters these are the two types of clusters which we dealt with okay next what is the what we have discussed in this session what we have discussed b plus tree organization b plus tree organization means the data or else the files or records that we used to store will be in the format of tree like structure okay so what is b plus tree here so here we use the primary key whatever the key that for example let us take the primary key as 5 so 5 7 6 3 these are the records that i need to insert so 5 let us the first one is 5 okay the next one is here one more thing whatever the insertion deletion whatever the operations that we have to do in the b plus tree will be dealt very clearly in our next sections now in this video lecture that what i am going to discuss what is b plus tree organization file file organization looks like it is just looks like a tree based structure okay and have to insert based upon how many how many values per node i have to insert okay so how we can able to split the node the in detail version of b plus tree will be discussed in our later on sessions this is the basic video that i am going to discuss that is the whatever the values that are less than we have to keep in the left subtree greater than or equal to can be kept in the right subtree this is what the basic information right next next organization apart from b plus t we have discussed about the cluster file organization so here clustering means grouping that me if at all we have two or more tables to group them into a single one we use clustered indexing so that to that grouping will be done by using one key attribute that key attribute is called as cluster key and here we have discussed the the types that is indexed cluster and hash cluster indexed cluster and hash cluster indexed cluster means here we use the clustering by using cluster key 
what is hash cluster here we use uh, clustering by using hash key value hash key value that is nothing but by considering hash function so this is what we have discussed in this session thank you